another day, another country. Just landed in Switzerland, specifically Geneva, Switzerland. So it's my first time in Switzerland. I'm excited. Um, Portugal was absolutely amazing. Rolling Loud was dope. Y'all saw all the footage. So Switzerland, literally gonna be here for only 24 hours though, but we're gonna, gonna maximize this time to, to see and check out as much as Geneva as possible. And stay tuned. Checking into the hotel, but right across the street from the hotel is the largest water spring in Europe. And we're here at the Ritz Carlton. Welcome to the Ritz Carlton. My name is Guy Kenevenem. Nice to meet you. Do you see my name in the reservation? Same name? Christina Redmond. Alright y'all, so here we are about to check into the room here at the Ritz Carlton in Geneva, Switzerland. Come on, let me show you room. Alright, so I already saw this 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 little door over here. The view looks crazy. Before we do that, check out the bathroom. Yeah, nice clean bathroom. I mean, there's too many mirrors, right? You can never have too many mirrors, but the mirror is definitely a vibe. Um, nice, clearly nice robes. You, you can't come to Ritz Carlton not throwing a nice Ritz Carlton robe. Um, the room, the decor is nice and smooth. I mean, I like, I love the rose gold. Just all the vibe, all the vibe, right? The art. We got a little fireplace over there, a little desk to handle your business. Yeah, I'm like it. Now let me show you my favorite part. Come on. You can't miss this. As soon as you come in the room, you just get this amazing view. This amazing view. Sheesh. Right? The lake. Man, it's just beautiful. You see the little table and chairs set up here. You can sip on some coffee or some tea. I'm a tea guy. But um, this probably couldn't be a better hotel to pick, you know, with, with coming to Geneva. Especially when we got like less than 24 hours. So um, I'm excited. We're going to enjoy this room and also experience this beautiful city and stay tuned for the rest of the adventure. Family out here in Geneva, Switzerland, got all freshed up. This is kind of like the main just strip, right? So across the streets, you have a very popular fountain. Matter of fact, let me get y'all the name of it. <laughs> it is called, I got gotcha, y'all, I got gotcha, y'all, I got gotcha. y'all. It is called the Jet Deu. Jet Deu, right? It is, it is um, the largest fountain in Europe. The largest fountain in Europe. And it is kind of like that iconic just just landmark in Geneva, right? Check it out. Look at it doing what a fountain does. Isn't that grand? Yeah, pretty cool. And it's cool because we staying right here at the Ritz Carlton, which is literally right across the street from the view. Right. So we about to walk around. You want to go to the left or you want to go to the right? Which thing's better? Or maybe you want to start left then go right. Oh, you see a rainbow? <laughs> Alright, yeah, we about to get some food. I'll show y'all next spot. <laughs> Hey, 
already paid. Alright, so we're in Old Town, Geneva, Switzerland. It's a pretty uh, popular part of Geneva. And from what I understand, the what the oldest, what was it called? The the dang, what do they call it? The long, the world's longest wooden bench is in this uh, park. Imagine that, the world's longest wooden bench. It's right here. You finna see it. Geneva's pretty cool, y'all. It's a vibe. Just left out of a, a speakeasy, aka secret bar. I forgot to record, right? May, I might go back so that way I can give y'all some footage, but I did drop it on my Instagram. It was literally a secret bar um, behind a fridge. Yes, a refrigerator inside of a restaurant. And um, had some food there before. The food is actually really good. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Discovery here. Apparently, this is the world's longest wooden bench. And this bench was built in 1767. All right? Is the trail bench is over 120 meters long, y'all. It's crazy. All right, y'all, so we just got to Old Town, Geneva, Switzerland. As you can tell, it has an old school vibe to it. Like for me, what it reminds me of, that's probably a pretty cool place to take a pic right there, those flags. What it reminds me of is almost like, like these old school Italian streets. That's what it's kind of making me think. Got the little cannons over there. Yeah. I like it, I like it. First one. There's a very heavy French influence in this city. Wouldn't you agree? Dope like flower clock. It's amazing. Look at the colors on that. It is so cool. What up, y'all? Still you know strolling around Geneva <laughs> Switzerland I'm about to hit up Baines de Paqua which is pretty much a public outdoor bath um, to me that sounds kind of crazy I'm not used to seeing public outdoor baths but it seems like one of the hot things to experience out here in Geneva so about to walk in there right now check this out see what a public outdoor bath and I hear DJ over there so it sounds kind of lit so I don't, I don't know I don't know let's let's get it and I thought you had to like get a ticket but looks like it's free right now I don't know <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna complain I ain't gonna complain but it's a vibe out here yeah a lot of a lot of water a lot of greenery boats it's a vibe About to have a drink. <laughs> About to have a drink at the Four Seasons and a bite to eat. 
looks like a dope spot. Good vibes. Let's check it out. Some snacks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 